Hello dear friends, thank you for joining me today. We're going to have a quick look at the particular action today, which is called send HTTP request to SharePoint. Normally, if we look under actions, which we have available, SharePoint, right? We have a lot of different things like uh, list folder, get items, create item, etc. So a lot of actions which are already pre-created that you can use very easily. But let's imagine for a second that we do not have a specific action. Let's imagine that uh, for now there is no action that allows us to get the item uh, ID, right, or a specific file ID. So how would I go in this case? If there was no way to get a file ID, I can create a specific call, uh, API call, to retrieve this information. So as you see here, I have my document library, which is called documents and a file which is called file one. It's an Excel file and it's located in this document library. And I want to retrieve this file ID. This is the use case for now, just to retrieve the file ID using HTTP request. So I use this get method, right? I navigate to a specific site and then I build a URI in a specific way in order to learn to build URIs uh, with more details. You can refer to Microsoft documentation, which I show in a moment. And for the headers, I, I specify accept and application uh, JSON uh, no metadata. So uh, this action in general will uh, get the uh, information about this file. So all information, not only ID, some other things like, uh, let me show you what I mean. If I go to compose action, right? Under data operations, you will see something that, which is called compose. And for the input, let me put the body for the input for now, right? I save this flow and I test it. I test this flow and run it manually. While this flow runs, I want to show you just a general Microsoft document. It's called, uh, it's under SharePoint, Power Automate. Uh, you, you can just search uh, for this, working with SharePoint sent in Power Automate. Uh, and it gives you some examples, some information, how to use REST uh, APIs, uh, how to use JSON Lite, and how to parse responses. This can be very useful if you work with Power Automate. And then I go back here, my flow has already completed, and let's see what information I have in this compose uh, step, right? You see here, I have this created by, uh, name, PUID, e tag, etc. So a lot of information. Let's see for now. I just want to retrieve this ID right here, right? So uh, let's say I want to reference to this ID at a later stage in a in a specific action. So how would I do it, right? So in order to do that, uh, I would go to uh, modify this and here I would specify a formula. So I go for input and expression. Here I can select body, right? And for the body, I navigate back to dynamic content, put here the body. You see, uh, modify output a little bit. And in the end, instead of body, I put ID, right? So we have this formula. It would say something like body, then the name of your uh, send HTTP request to SharePoint action, and then the ID. So this is the specific property that will be retrieved. I click OK. I save my flow and I run it. Let me test this flow. I test it manually again. I run the flow one more time and let's see what I receive here. In the compose action, you see the output is the actual item uh, ID. And that's what exactly I needed to use at the later stages in my flow. So uh, something useful for you to remember, you just use this API 
call, right? The, the most difficult thing here is to build the URI in an appropriate way, so you have to experiment with it a little bit, and then you retrieve specific properties uh, in the item um, by specifying, you see, uh, you, you can use these expressions to do it. So thanks for watching. I hope it's been helpful. Have a wonderful day and stay healthy. Bye-bye.